Hi everyone, today I'm just going to show you how to mine Ethereum on a Mac. One thing I will say before I get started is that Macs are not designed or made for cracking code for long periods of time. So mining can damage them if you are not careful and don't look after it and don't look at your CPU temperature. I've done a video showing um, how to install an application which shows you your CPU temperature which will be very useful and will make sure that you won't damage your computer. That will be in the description. Alright, so I've done it also, I also also done a video on how to install the proper version of Minergate. You can have a normal version and an extended version. If you only download the normal version, you don't get the wallet, which means you can't withdraw your currency. So that video will also be in the description. Alright, to get to the actual mining, you need to open up Minergate, click on Miner, Look for ETH, which is Ethereum, not ETC, ETH, which is Ethereum, ETC is Ethereum Classic. You choose how hard you want your computer to work. The more the harder it works, the more hashing rate you're going to get, which is more currency you're going to get, but it's harder on your computer and your battery won't last as long. So you choose how hard you want it to work. You click on whatever you want. And then you click on start, which is this play button here. With Ethereum, you need to prepare DAG, so you just need to wait for about 10 to 15 minutes for this DAG to be finished. And then you will start mining. I'll just play the video while that's finished loading. So my DAG has finished loading, and now you can see that I'm getting about 430 kilo hash per second and now you can see that my shares have gone up and you can also see the shares difficulty so that's basically how difficult it is to get a share so this counter here this second counter is how long ago from you got your last share this is a bad shares this only happens once every couple hundred shares so you can see the shares going up and then unconfirmed balance will go up and then if you keep on mining your unconfirmed balance will turn into your confirmed balance which will be in your wallet. If you have any questions please ask in the comments.